please like, share, and subscribe to Central Coast Bass. Yeah, baby. Here we go. 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 How's it going? Welcome to this edition of Central Coast Bass. I'm back here at Uvis. All the lakes seem to be... Well, I was just at Chesbro. I was just at Anderson. They were both terrible. I said I really didn't know where I wanted to go. It seems to be post-spawn everywhere. I don't really want to travel very far to go to some of these other lakes and have them be sucky. Uvis, I've been doing pretty good. Last time I was here, I went to the roadbed right at the end. I caught three fish in like a half hour. So I'm going to spend all day here at the roadbed and see if I can catch myself some bass. I said once the hydrilla moves in, it's probably going to get really good. Don't think the hydrilla has moved in yet. Caught some fish last time, first time here, didn't catch any. So I'm thinking there's fish here. So hopefully I can get some fish. Hope you enjoy it. Time to get going. Got my three poles as usual. Trucks always go by right in the middle of my getting ready to go. Actually, finally re-spooled my freaking jig pole. Remember that jig pole? <laughs> it was so low in line. Finally redid it. Two of those poles have nothing on them. The white one, uh, I have the bobblehead on it. So I now have all of my terminal tackle. All of my uh, flick'em jig heads. I have my neds. Another car. I'm gonna go this way. Like I said, it's easier because you go down there and it's so high. The adventure begins. Somebody's underwear laying there. That's, that's interesting. Roadbed area. Okay, looking at it from up here, look, you can see some of that snot grass is starting to grow. Dark spot there. Maybe that's actually the hydrilla starting to grow. Fairly clear though. Looks like you see down and it's still about five, six feet. Wind's actually south, southwest. It's actually blowing in here. It's light. This spot's actually really nice, guys. Shade here already. It's like 86 degrees right now. Starting to flick in. It caught me three in about a half hour here the last time. Four inch watermelon red on eighth ounce. See if these fish are ready to munch. A little bit further out. All right. Let me uh, hook up the old Ned a Rooney. Give the Ned some tosses out here. Maybe the Ned will get some fish. Found the Ned. Got a couple already blacked out. With the Sharpie. Okay, that's, that's what I'm starting out with. Watermelon. Watermelon candy. Very natural. And see if it gets me some bites. Kind of striking out right now, guys. Kind of striking out. Might be a timing is everything day. They're in here, but they're only in here when the shade gets on it. Might have to walk down there. Start casting right in front of that tree. I can make it right here. Test the spot, the shade. Oh no, oh no. Caught the branch behind me. Gave myself a backlash. Caught up right here. All right, let's see if I can make my way down here. Uh, I think I gotta go. Whoops. All right, I'm on an adventure. Of course, getting in here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cast. Where'd I go? Alright guys, got myself in here. First cast and the tree broke off. That wasn't good. Didn't even get a cast in here. Whoa. Dang it. I don't know if that was worth it. I know I can get in there. I don't know if I want to go back right away. 
Oh no. Defunct my camera. Alright, I don't think that was worth it. I'm gonna go with the bobblehead with the tube. I'm all flustered now. Got my way in there and effed it up. I think we get one cast in there. Try the old green pumpkin candy tube on them. I'm gonna rummage through my bag. I know I have at least one 316 ounce weight somewhere. I actually have a drop shot, actual drop shot weight. And in here, all I have are these micro hooks, guys. It'll still help me. It'll still help me see if, if at least the drop shot will get a bite. Now that I got the drop shot on, I'm actually gonna go try over there in that shade. Trying to get some wave action. Starting to get a little bit of a dirty water. Maybe a mud line will help. Oh my god, guys. Yes! I just got a bite! I just got my first bite. Yes. I'm really glad it's postponed. If it wasn't postponed, it was like the middle of summer, and I was having this hard of a time to get bites, I'd be really, really upset. Right now, I'm just a little upset because I'm telling you, the conditions are too perfect. Watercolor, perfect. Depth I'm in, structure down there, perfect. A little bit of wind blowing in here, perfect. Now there's shade on the water, perfect. But it's that post-spawn time. All the lakes are just funky, funky, funky. I'm thinking it's probably a timing thing. Last time here, right before dark, three fish, half hour. And they get into that post-spawn, a lot of times, you know, they only want to feed when they have the best, best opportunity. Water's still not that warm, they're in that funk, they're still, you know, posty and stressed and all that. So they often just come in and feed in the evening and in the morning, not all day long. Like in the summer when the water's warm and the metabolism is really high. At least that's what I'm hoping. It's a time of day. And by the time the show's over, I have some fish. Okay, I've been trying these light blendy colors for how long? <laughs> An hour? I'm gonna try pumpkin purple swirl. Maybe they're here, maybe they just don't like that color. Okie dokie! Time to switch up colors. I've been throwing that light color the whole time on the drop shot. And remember, I switched the drop shot because I tried to get a bite. And guess what? The only thing I've gotten a bite on so far has been the drop shot. I've really been only trying that uh, lighter color. I mean, this is pumpkin purple swirl. What I do to film shows, guys. What I do to film shows. I'm just going to stick with the belief that eventually there's going to be fish here. Oh, there's another person down there. Should have brought that one morning dawn friggin' robo worm. Huh? You might as well just go home. Scott? Yeah. Fernando. Uh, I was a uh, Honda guy. Nine, oh, man. that's right. I used to, yeah. And you changed it? Changed it to Central Cal, uh, Central Cal Bass. I, I've got one bite in four hours. Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping it's an evening bite because there hasn't been shit all day. Oh, there's a bite. You got a bite? On the morning dawn, of course. One color I didn't bring. Oh, it might be a bluegill. You still there? He's just, he's just munching on it? Huh. Well, eventually you're going to have to try and hook him. We'll catch one already, damn it. My show's depending on you. No, because I ain't getting shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Only place I've caught him. <laughs> it's a little guy. He took it off the log. Look at that, guys. I told you there were fish in here. Only took uh, almost five hours to catch that fish. 
One fish. All right, let me try way the hell out. Let me try way the hell out. Nothing on the bubble. I'm having a bite. I'm having a lick. Back to the drop shot. Yeah. What are you trying? I see you going into your bag of tricks. You still got your, uh, your bait. The one I won. Oh yeah. Forgot about that. Give him back. <laughs> I'm going back to stick him and I'm going to throw it over there. I don't think they want anything but something that looks like it's dying and easy. Yeah. I got one swimming with it. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm like, it shouldn't take this long to sink. <laughs> it's a little guy. <laughs> the whole time I'm talking to you, it's sinking. Yeah, do you have a scale? I do. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh my god. My second fish! No, I'm not gonna weigh him. I'm gonna do a cool slow mo of him. Oh, Alright, guys, dramatic slow mo release of the giant. I think I might have milked the golden spot for the only two fish in the lake. Do better than this guy. Oh wait, no, he caught one at chest, bro. Never mind. He didn't skunk today. How about the last time you fished? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Where? Here. Oh, you got skunk. Yeah, I was uh, over, over there by the by the ramp. So basically, you've got skunk two days in a row at at Uvis. At Uvis, yeah. How's it going? Hi. Hey. Are you gonna make it home by curfew again this time? No, no. Broke, did you here, did you make it? Time. Did you make it last time? I broke curfew. You didn't make it home by midnight? Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this edition of Central Coast Bass. That's uh, Callie Bassin right there. He was Honda Guy 92, but that's him leaving right there. I don't know really what to tell you guys. Seemed perfect. Everything was perfect. It's just the fact that it's post-spawn. That's the reason my last three shows have been like this. It's post spawn. <laughs> no two ways about it. It's post spawn. When I go that long in these conditions with everything being perfect and I end up with two fish at the very end after six hours, it's post spawn. I mean, that's why I said after Anderson, I don't really know where to go because I know most of the lakes going to be like this probably for another couple weeks, maybe. I do have an idea. I might go to that little pond that's before Coyote. Maybe in a pond I can catch some fish. But I still hope you enjoyed it. And please join us for our next Sunday Coast Bass Fishing Show. Give us some likes, share, and as always, sub if you haven't. Soul music, baby. Sweet soul music.